An electrically small or electrically short antenna is an antenna much shorter than the wavelength of the signal it is intended to transmit or receive. Electrically short antennas are generally less efficient and more challenging to design than longer antennas such as quarter and half wave antennas, but are nonetheless common due to their compact size and low cost. Technically, an electrically short antenna has length 2h, such that 2 pi h lambda 1 Display style frac 2 pi h lambda ll 1, where lambda is the free space wavelength. The far field radiation pattern of an antenna is the sum of its near field spherical modes, expressed using Legendre functions and spherical Bessel functions. In its simplest form, it is an omnidirectional radiation pattern with no variation in the azimuth plane. When the antenna becomes electrically small, the propagating modes are replaced by evanescent modes with high Q factor, where Q 1 K 3 R 3 display style Q propto frac 1 K caret 3 R caret 3 K equals 2 Pi Lambda Display style K equals two Pi Lambda. In short, the maximum bandwidth of an electrically small antenna is regulated by its maximum dimension enclosed within a sphere of radius R Display style R. The difficulties of designing an electrically small antenna includes impedance matching. Insertion loss from high current density flowing on a non-perfect conductor, resulting in joule heating, and a small radiation aperture with low radiation efficiency. Topic. History Harold A. Wheeler first published The Fundamental Limitations of Small Antennas. 1947. The theoretical limitation of an electrically small antenna and its bandwidth was first investigated by L. J. Chu in 1948. <laughs> Topic. Examples Near electrically small antennas include the Gubau antenna, Foltz antenna, and Rogers cone antenna. Principal new type of electrically small antennas are nanomechanical magnetoelectric antennas. ME antennas have sizes as small as one thousandth of a wavelength. For example, the length and width of the FEGUB ALN active resonant body of this antenna for 60, 7 MHz of electromagnetic waves are 250 micrometers, respectively. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Fundamental limitations of antennas. Electrically small antennas belong to one of the four fundamental limitations of antennas addressed by R. C. Hansen. The four fundamental limitations of antennas are, electrically small antennas, superdirective antennas, superresolution antennas, and high-gain antennas. Topic. Measurement Passive measurement of an electrically small antenna requires a quarter wavelength RF choke or ferrite bead to be added to the end of the feeding coaxial cable to limit or prevent the current from flowing onto the surface of the cable. Current flowing on the exterior of the feeding cable increases the electrical size and radiation aperture of the antenna, resulting in erroneous measurement result. The quarter wavelength choke are narrow band and the ferrite beads are lossy at higher frequency greater than 1 GHz. 
These techniques are not without problems. The quarter wavelength choke technique allows currents to travel up to 0.25 wavelengths from the antenna and increases the effective size, whereas the lossy choke, e.g., ferrite bead technique introduces losses that should be considered. Topic. See also Electrical length, the concept of a conductor's electrical length, in particular, for transmission line and antennas.